This has been a critical tool for us in recruiting. Let me just show it to you here real quick. There we go. All right, so, so this is our career track. Um, this is in the August team advance document. So you come in as a buyer specialist, you graduate to a senior buyer specialist, then you are eligible to become a listing partner, then a senior listing partner, then an expansion partner. It doesn't mean that you can't spend six months on the team and then become an expansion partner right out of the gate or that we can't just outright hire expansion partners. But these are some of the triggers and expectations for these different sides. As a buyer specialist, you have to hit the 24 sides in your first 12 months after your ramp up. Um, and then we have this designation certified buyer specialist and, and what's involved uh, with that. Cultural alignment is critically important. We have the $1,000 bonus for a million in sales, and then we're doing an additional bonus, 2,000 for every 2 million starting at eight million up to a $10,000 cash bonus. So five triggers there as well. And then we're doing adding branded websites, a blog, MLS Realtor dues paid, um, gas and cell phone allowance, a 27 inch iMac, and then a car allowance on top of that, and then a branded company car and expense account if you're an expansion partner. So pretty, pretty cool to be able to sit down with somebody and talk about here's what your 10 year career will look like at the large group. This is a game changer. So I don't, I don't want you to, um, even if you're a solo operation, you know, right now you're playing the senior buyer specialist role. You're playing the senior listing partner role. Um, you bring in your first buyer specialist. You need to tell them that they're, they're, your goal for them is to replace you as a senior buyer specialist and then for them to be the listing partner and then to replace you as a senior listing partner when you can, then you can focus on expanding the team. So you can use this no matter where you are in your growth process. Uh, Jim makes the comment, I'll be interested to see what the expansion partner offer looks like when you get it created. Um, we're playing with the numbers on that now. So it, um, and I don't know, Jim, if you have a specific, specific question on it, um, we pretty much know what it's going to look like. Uh, it's basically just, it's someone that's going to handle buyers and sellers to start. We initially had this person building a team where now it looks like we're just going to support them from the expansion hub, um, more so in line with the KW model. Keep all the lead gen and all the admin in the central uh, location in the expansion hub and then have this partner, um, you know, go out, sell four, five, six homes a month, seven homes a month, then give them a showing agent to get to eight, nine, ten homes a month, but they pay for the showing agent out of their side of the, uh, of the income. So have these expansion partners around the country and around Charlotte. You know, a lot of these guys that are doing expansion, most of them aren't extremely profitable doing it. So that's one thing to, luckily we're in a market where I can put out five expansion partners in our core market. So we can go four or five locations. That's the initial push. And that'll teach us a lot of lessons, you know, where we can leverage the brand in our, in our core market. And then we can look to go outside the market. But the 10,000 families served in a single year, that's just something to get freaking excited about. So if nothing else, right, if we fail and we go to 1,500 sides in Charlotte and we fail at in, you know, say we go to Raleigh or, um, you know, say we go to Charleston. I'm thinking of all the places that I like I like to go to or that are good markets here close close to me. If we stay in our state. The two states that we already know the laws in, I think we'll be, we'll be fine. So that's the next push for us. Um, but yeah, it'll be pretty cool.